How are you for? Today we are looking at subtracting four digit numbers with one exchange. So first of all, we will be using our place value chart to help solve this. And then we'll be looking at how to do our question in the column method. So today I've already put my whole number, my top number inside the place value chart. So we can just check that quickly. 5,000, yep. Yeah. 200, yep. Yeah and 60, yep, yeah, and eight. Brilliant, so that's all in the top of my place value chart, ready to solve this question. The first step then is to start in the ones column. I am taking away five. So just like with our other questions, we're gonna put a neat cross through five of our circles. One, two, three, four, five. Super, now we can move on to the tens column. It says six, take away four. So I go to my tens column and I'm taking away four tens. So I'm gonna take away four of those circles. One, two, three, four. Next, I can move on to my hundreds column. Now here it says I have two hundreds and I am taking away seven hundreds. So this is where we're gonna have to do an exchange. I'm gonna have to take one of my thousand counters and exchange it for 10 hundreds counters because I need more hundred counters to complete this subtraction. So I need to exchange it for the same amount. This counter is worth 1,000. So if I'm taking that 1,000, I need to replace it and exchange it with counters that are worth 1,000. So to get 1,000 in hundreds counters, I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because 10 hundred counters is the equivalent value of one 1,000 counter. Now I've made that exchange, I can continue with my subtraction. So I'm taking away seven hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I move on to my final column, the thousands column. It did say I had 5,000, but we know we exchanged one of those counters for the hundreds counters. So we now have 4,000 take away 1,000. So putting a cross through one of those thousands, now I can calculate my answer. So how many counters do we have in the ones column without a cross through them? One, two, three. Remember, we always start in the ones column. So looking at the tens column, how many have I got? I have two counters left with no cross through them. How many do I have in my hundreds then? One, two, three, four, five. And finally, my thousands column, how many do I have left? One, two, three. So now we've solved it in our place value chart, we can look at how we're gonna solve this in the column method. So starting again in the ones column, as always, eight, take away five. You can do that on your fingers if you need to. Eight take away five is going to be three. Next, we move on to our tens column. 60 take away 40. We know that's going to leave us with 20. I put a two there because that represents my 20. Next is when we move on to our trickier part where we have our hundreds column. Just like we did in our place value chart, we are going to take our 5,000, exchange one of those 1,000 counters and give it to the hundreds column. So I have left 4,000 here because we've taken one of those thousands away and we've exchanged it, we've swapped it for 10 hundreds counters. So if I put that one in front of the two, that is 12 hundreds I now have in that column. So if I'm doing 12, take away seven, my answer is going to be five. Finally, I do my last step in my thousands column. 
4,000, take away 1,000, that is going to be 3,000. If I look across at both of my calculations, both pictorially and in the column method, I can see I've got the same answers.